Hi there, Alexi One Air. Playing step by step from Bulgaria, is this? Yeah. And I'm trying to get a King's Gambit going, but this this guy plays the Karakhan. And uh, I, I'll try and play the Panov, but well, he'll know more about it than me. I mean, I only know till like move 6 or something, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, let's see, I'm just gonna take. Play something like check here. Then queen b3. Oh. Only if he played bishop d7, I was gonna go queen b3. Now I'm just gonna go like bishop b3. And we'll see what transpires. Okay, I'm gonna take there. I did not think he'd do that. Um, so we're up in exchange now, at least. <clears throat> at least in exchange, I mean. Uh, yeah, and just an exchange. So I I played knight b6 just to mess with it with this pawn structure. Uh, I should be good here. Queen 65, bishop d4 probably. That's what I was intending, but maybe he can go something like h5 then. Still, this should be uh, pretty good. Okay, so now he's threatening to take on e5 somewhat. I can do this. Takes takes rook d5, queen e7, probably. Oh, uh, we'll see. I'm just trying to make some normal moves here. Okay, so if I take, he has queen takes e5. But then f4. No, let's just play a simple one. So if I take there, he's gonna go take on e5 and rook g5 probably. And then this bishop uh, is pretty annoying. So maybe I should do something like rook e1. Not really sure which rook, but let's do this one. Okay, so I can trade now, which is definitely something I want. I'm just gonna do it. This should be an easy win, but uh, yeah, you never know. I mean, this <laughs> F3 was not the best move, I think. But still, we have Rook F1, which holds, which holds uh, the, the position together. Um, yeah, too bad. I'm just gonna give a pawn and give another. It seems. Oh, he doesn't take it. He could have took on f3. Mm. So it's definitely not easy, this. e4 is just pretty annoying. Um, how to respond here. So if I go queen e2, yes, bishop b5. Uh. Sucks. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe I should just go to into a rook ending or something. I'm also down on time. I have to speed up now. Cause it's uh okay, so I've, I'm just giving him stuff. H4, yeah, that's better. Yeah, now he's just winning. Man, I totally screwed this up. Yeah, now I can resign. Okay, whatever. This was uh a terrible game. This was a very bad game. Okay, let's have a look. 
So the Panov is this. You can also get it like uh, in this move order and C4 here. It's the same. Knight of six. I think knight c3 is the main move here. I think knight of three is the main move here, but maybe I should go. Yeah, takes, takes. I have a feeling this is the move then. Knight c6. I, I just can't remember. I tried this bishop b5. Yeah, queen takes b5 here is definitely horrible. Because I'm just winning in exchange and... Okay, so knight e5 isn't the best one. Queen b3 is definitely better, it seems. I'm just aiming for b7. If he goes rook b8, we can even go maybe like bishop f4 here. If he doesn't go rook b8, I mean, how is he going to defend that queen e6? But then we just have knight c7, so... <laughs> B6, we have knight c7 as well. B5. This d5 is annoying. I mean, queen b3 is definitely very good. So yeah, I thought he was going to take there. Bishop d4 and h5. And I thought, like, I shouldn't... Uh, I should be better here. Maybe not much, but... At least somehow. And I presume I'm, I'm, I'm still better here. Rook f1, f1. If he goes f6, we just take here. Queen d2. Maybe I should just take there. I mean, this rook is pretty active on the 7th. Or the 2nd, in this case, but... Yeah, and it still somehow holds, but if I go rook e1, it's probably better, because if he wants to win the pawn, which I'm guessing he wants to, he has to take there, but this ending is much more easy for me. So if I go rook e1, he can either play uh, bishop takes f3, which, which is definitely good for me, or rook c1, c2, but then rook e3 maybe. I don't know, it's still hard to... Uh, to have a nice plan here. Something like rook e2, I don't know. Feels feels like it's not the best idea. So I wanted to go rook d3 here, but I was afraid of this, but we still have this rook g1, so I didn't really have to play rook g1 immediately. But this e5 is super annoying. He's just gonna go e4, so I went rook c1, I think. Because if he goes e4 now, I was planning on. Uh, what was it? Playing something. What was it? Mm. Something like this? Or? Not something like this. If I take, I'm just losing a pawn here. Yeah, I don't know. I think I was planning on doing that though, but it's probably bad. Rook b3 is definitely better. Now we're taking on b6 and then we're taking on c6 and it should be good. But here, yeah, I mean, black is just fine. And there are a lot of ways for me to go astray. I should play something like King D3 maybe. If he takes with this F4, it's still E4. Rook H1 is passive, but maybe it's playable. F5 maybe. Going for E4. Yeah, here I'm just losing. And uh, okay, so this game wasn't as bad as it seemed. Um, Black does definitely has some compensation for the piece. If I if I go queen b3, I mean it's over, probably. But uh, what I did wasn't the best, and therefore, well, it just wasn't easy. 
So he played a nice game. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you next time.